are you guys having? They're calling these munch boxes, which is so cute. What's this, Cosmo? This apple. Oh, your apple? Good morning guys we're at the park at the moment and we've had some lunch it's a bit windy so i'm not sure if you guys can hear me because we don't actually have a wind muff for this camera um but it's definitely windier over here on the coast where we live now so we're gonna have to get one but yeah we're at the park there's some people laying some lawn on the oval and the kids have really been enjoying watching that the little construction going on there and them actually rolling the lawn out it's pretty interesting to watch and then yeah, just having a play. Beautiful weather today. It's 21 degrees Celsius, which is like the perfect weather. I love 21 degrees. I'd say my favorite is around between 20 and 28-ish. Um, so yeah, it's like perfect. Your favorite what? Weather, my favorite temperature. What's your favorite kind of temperature? What? Like the weather, how it feels today. Does it feel too hot or does it feel too cool for too, you? Too hot. Too hot? I can feel the cold, but I can also feel the hot. Yeah, that's why it's perfect. It's a little bit of both, especially with the sea breeze because we're right next to the ocean over there. You can see that sort of like beyond the trees. Perfect, perfect. And yeah, the kids are just loving watching the grass being rolled on. See those big rolls there? They've just been rolling it out. <laughs> it's pretty cool. We've got four over here. And four over here. And. Hello. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm on the swing there. Oh, you're on the swing, cool. What are they doing? They're watching the lawn being rolled out. It's on. over here watching the lawn being rolled on. <laughs> Cosmo joined them. And the girls in the sand. What are you doing, birdie? <laughs> You see a big Christmas tree? <laughs> you can see the tree with the flashing lights? Wow. What are you going to read? Hello, gorgeous. Hi. <laughs> so 
So we're back from a bit of a busy morning out today. So we spent some time outdoors at a park and then we went to a library and we borrowed a bunch of books from the library. The kids all generally pick a couple of things they want to borrow from the library and then I'll pick some things that I would like to read out to them as well. So the books that I picked to read to the kids are this one. Um, this author, Axel Scheffler, I think it's pronounced. He has um, illustrated the Gruffalo books as well. So I thought that one would be a cute one to read. And then I also picked this one, that Swarm of Bees. It says it was by Lemony Snicket, so I thought that that would be a good one to read. And so at the library, I also picked a couple of books for myself. Um, first one being this one called Wild Things. I'm not sure what it's about exactly. It says how we learn to read and what can happen if we don't. Just to give you an idea of what it's about, because I haven't read this yet. I can't give a review or anything. I just got it out today. Um, but it says when best-selling Australian children's author Sally Rippon discovered her child was struggling to read, she assumed it was, would sort itself out over time. She couldn't have been more wrong. Her son's dyslexia and ADHD went unsupported for years, leaving him behind his peers and labeled difficult by an education system that couldn't easily cater to neurodivergent kids. Time Sally learned how to advocate for him, it was almost too late. Told through the eyes of a parent who started out by doing everything wrong, Wild Things is about how we can help all kids find the joy in reading and advocate for them throughout their schooling careers. After all, they say that school isn't for everyone, but if everyone must go to school, then why not? So I'm quite interested in this just because, you know, I've got a whole bunch of kids. They have really different learning styles and I am just always interested in learning more. And then the other one I got, it is called How to Build a Human by Emma Byrne. Understanding kids in all their glorious, frustrating complexity, what science knows about childhood. So first of all, I don't absolutely love the title of this book, How to Build a Human, as it makes it seem like humans are just something to be built. Children are just something that parents create, which um, I don't exactly agree with, but I don't think that's what it's meant to mean. I think that is just me taking it too literally, but I thought it would be interesting after reading the blurb. Um, it says, the real science of parenting. Kids aren't all the same. You can't follow instructions and expect to success every time. So what if parents approach their children as questions to be answered and not problems to be solved? Scientist Emma Byrne takes evidence-based information on everything from physical and emotional development to what is happening during sleep and separation anxiety, then shows how to apply apply it to the unique child in front of you. She challenges perceived wisdom by focusing on the variance as well as the mean because your child is an individual, not an average. Like all good scientists, you're going to have a few missteps along the way. You'll reach dead ends. You'll need to rack your brain for new approaches, but by staying curious, creative, and paying attention to what's really happening with your family, Emma Byrne will help you figure it out just in time for everything to change once again. So even though I didn't love the title to begin with, I really connected with the blurb. It sounded really interesting to me. I love reading about parenting and different kinds of parenting philosophies and so this book about the science behind parenting um, sounded really interesting to me and I'm excited to read it. What are we playing with now guys? <laughs> oh it's empty? And what have we got here? Little blocks, yeah, we've got some dice and some quirkle cubes. If you've dropped some, do you want to pick them up? We can only play with these when Birdie's napping, okay? These are all different colours, so we've got blue. Yeah, it has blue shapes on it. Mm-hmm. So we have this No More Dummies book. We got it a few months ago. It's okay. I've actually got something else for you. Um, even though we went to the library today, we just bought this one a couple of days ago, ready to give it to the twins. So we bought the No More Dummies book a couple of months ago, and we I'm took. Twins. You want to swap, do you? Um, we bought the No More Dummies book a couple of months ago, and we have just been talking to the twins about. Um, getting rid of our dummies so it wasn't an instant overnight transition but we thought the book was very helpful so we could just talk about it and talk about it a lot and so we finally got rid of their dummies um, a couple of days ago where are your dummies? Our dummies fairy the bowl. yes the dummy fairies did take them we put them in a bowl 
and then the dummy fairy came and took them away didn't we so they're all gone now that was about three days ago that we've fully gotten rid of our um, dummies so they haven't had them it was a little bit rough for the first night and they've skipped their naps but it's done now and they seem to be fine with it so really it was kind of like ripping off a band-aid I suppose and she's having juice is she um, but kind of not like ripping off a band-aid because we did it very slowly and talked about it for like months and months so it wasn't really like that at all um, but anyway since that worked so well we decided that we would get this book which is no more nappies um so the twins just turned two uh, a few weeks ago and yeah so we're going to start talking about this a lot we've already been talking about it a lot but we thought the book would help and eventually get ready for no Daddy, more nappies yes. so yeah that's exciting what's in here in, in the, in the potty. yeah sitting on the potty in the yeah, sitting on the potty. And it's okay to have accidents. <laughs> yeah, sometimes we have an accident, don't we? Yes, that's the toilet paper. Ba, ba, ba. Who's that? Do you see Birdie? Do you see Birdie? Hello. <laughs> Birdie. Birdie. <laughs> Do you want to tell me what books you've gotten from the library? I got the egg and Teddy is a panda. Yes, cool. These are the vowels and the consonants in the book that it focused on. And so at the library, they have like a system where they have green, red, uh, what is it? Green, red, blue, and yellow. Is it blue? Is that blue? Yeah. There is. Anyway, guys, I think that is going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. We had a lovely relaxing day spent as a family going to the park and the library. Come here. Oh, big cuddle. That's all right. As well as doing lots of homeschooling and reading at home. Isn't that right? <coughs> yes. Do you want to say bye bye? Bye bye. You say bye. Bye bye. Bye. Turn it off now. Library.